Yo, what is up, Sex Beast Crazy Rabbit here, and today we're doing top 5 camping spots and zombies. Now this is not the best camping spots or the best strategies, this is sort of just the ones that we remember the most, or the ones that we had the most fun in. So let's go ahead and get the shit started. Alright, coming in at number 5 is going to be Nocturne Toten, and this is going to be upstairs from spawn. I remember this one because this was my first camping experience ever. This was really my first zombies experience ever, and I'm pretty sure this was for a lot of people. Nocturne Toten is where it all began, and this is where we first learned that camping really is not going to get you too far rounds. Well, I guess back then it did, because back in World of War, you got to like round 20s or 30s, and that was sort of considered a far round. People nowadays consider like far rounds like 50s and 60s and stuff like that, but back in World of War, if you got to like 30, you were like a god. And the easiest way to do that was to not camp, because if you camped, you were probably going to get to round like 15, 20, and then you all die. I remember playing with a bunch of randoms, we would always go straight upstairs, everyone would try to get a ray gun, an LMG, we would camp right here in this corner, and then eventually we would go down, and then some kid would yell, Revives me bro, I has the ray gun, and then we would all die. So I have a lot of fun memories of playing Nocturne and Toad and getting yelled at by a bunch of little kids to revive them. So let's go ahead and get on number 4. Alright, and coming in number 4 is going to be Mob of the Dead, and this is going to be after the first dog on your way to the cafeteria. Now you can either open this door or you can keep it closed. Sometimes I like to keep it closed, sometimes I like to keep it open. If you keep it closed, you can always just camp out here for a really long time and then eventually make your way through the rest of the map with all the points you got. If you opened it, it's a really good final stand. If you're playing with four players, what you want to do is have two people on one side and two people on the other side, go back to back and just hold out for as long as possible. What me and my friends like to do is whatever guns you have, you have that. Whatever ammo you have, you have that. There's no getting ammo. We are staying here until we die. And that's usually how we end a lot of our zombies runs, is we just camp in one spot. And this is a pretty good spot for Mob of the Dead. You go back to back, or if you have not opened that door yet, you just camp right there, and then eventually Brutus is going to come and wreck your shit, and then that's going to be the game. Yay! But if you have the Tomahawk, then you're probably never going to run out of ammo, especially if you've upgraded it. You might have a little bit longer chance of surviving. But if you're going back to back, if Brutus comes to one side, that side is probably going to get fucked, and then the other side is going to get fucked as well. So let's go ahead and get to number 3. Alright, and coming to number 3 is going to be Shangri-La. This is going to be the minecart. Now this is probably my favorite because it never worked whatsoever. This was a terrible strategy that we just always tended to try to make happen. So ideally, this is what you wanted. You wanted three guys up front and then one guy guarding the window, not just me playing solo. You wanted that to happen, and then if somebody went down, you would all hop on the minecart and take it. That never, ever happened. That never worked. I'd say 10 out of 10 times. That never worked for me, my friends. But what always happened is someone would go down, but they wouldn't be on the minecart, and then we'd accidentally take the minecart without them. Or someone would go down, and we're trying to tell them, hurry up, scoot on the minecart, scoot on the minecart, we'll get you, we'll get you. And then somebody else goes down off the minecart, and then that just sort of spirals out of control. Or someone goes down, they're on the minecart, but no one wants to take the minecart because we're all too fucking stingy with our points. This strategy never worked, but it was still really fun to do with a bunch of friends. It's always a fun time getting in arguments with your friends, yelling at someone to take the minecart, or yelling at someone to crawl onto the minecart. It's just a lot of fun, and I really had a lot of fun memories just getting yelled at by my friends. So let's go ahead and get on number two. Alright, incoming in number two is going to be the Buried, and this is going to be the Juggernaug sort of hallway right here. Now this one's a really fun last stand one. If you're going to do a last stand, this is probably the one you're going to want to do it in. Because you can get all sorts of stuff. You can get all the traps, you can get the Paralyzer, you can get Leroy back here. There's just so much stuff you can do, and a lot of it is to troll your friends. So when we have friends, would usually hold out right here. What I like to do is I like to get sort of the front, kill a zombie, and if I have Vulture Ray, get in that little green mist, and then just let all the zombies flow right behind me and kill all my friends, and then I eventually die. So there's just so many ways you can troll your friends with this, or if you actually really want to pull off a last stand and just survive, you can get so many different traps, the Paralyzer, there's just so many different ways you can kill zombies in this map. You could literally just hold off here for a really long time. Now this isn't the best strategy in Barry, but it is by far to me the most fun one with a bunch of friends. And taking the number one spot, did you guys even have to guess, is the Dura-Reese Catwalk. I have so many fun memories of me and a bunch of randoms and me and a bunch of friends getting up here and just holding out until like round 20 and then eventually dying. Like when I would play Dura-Reese, the first thing I would ask a bunch of randoms is, what's the strategy, what are we doing? And everyone would always say, get the ray gun, go to the catwalk, every time, that's always what happened. So we would always go up there and go to the catwalk and just camp it out until eventually we died. And then I would do the same exact thing, go with a bunch of randoms and then play it over and over again. And you never really managed to get past like round 20, 25 because you know, you're just camping. You really can't go far with just camping. But we would always just still do it anyway and it was just so fun. And I was always a fucking genius because what me and a bunch of randoms would always do is people always want to have like three guys on the stairs and then one guy guarding that window. But I'm fucking smart and not stupid so what I would do is I would hide sort of near that ledge that you can jump off of. So I would always hide in that ledge near the catwalk, and then eventually, as soon as I see someone go down, I'm hopping off that ledge and I'm running. Granted, I got yelled at by a lot of people, but still, I survived and they didn't, so ha 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 ha. But if you are doing this strategy solo, I've been able to get to round 30, 30 plus, as long as you get sort of lucky with your max ammo, so this is actually somewhat decent strategy. 
as long as you get some good weapons, as long as you get like the PPSH, the ray gun, or if you want the Wonder Waff, I don't really know if you want it in World War or not, but as long as you get some good weapons and you get lucky with your max ammos, I've been able to stay to like round 30, 30 plus on this map just doing this. So it's actually a pretty good strategy and it's really fun to do. So hopefully guys enjoyed this video and I'm very curious to know, what are some of your guys' favorite strategies? Not your guys' best strategies, some of the ones you generally just have fun doing. So one more time, thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys could, please leave a like and subscribe if you're ready. Peace. Thank you.